fornication pilot. Okay, big guy, you and me. We haven't done this before, but desperate times call for desperate measures. My name is Hank. Hello, Hank. Hi, sister. I'm just be trying to have a little chat with your husband up there. Can I help you? No, I want, don't want to bother you, a real life person about it. It won't be no bother, Hank. In fact, that's why I'm here. Here's the thing. I'm having what you call a crisis of faith. I mean, to put it simply, I can't write. What really kind of sucks because I'm supposed to be a writer, a professional one at that. I can't seem to be able to produce so much of a goddamn present. Sorry, you normally know my apologies. I've fucked up again and apologize. Well, normally it was just a bunch of wild fathers and a couple of Hail Marys. But I don't think it's going to get us done. What about a blowjob? A blowjob? Would you like my feel? Would that make you feel any better? Blowjob from you? So he tells me it's not going to suck itself, Hank. Do you know? But you're none. A fucking hot, or totally hot, fucking nut, hot nun. Sweet baby Jesus, Hank. It's going to hell. Bad dream, yeah. No, it's hard to say, really. You did it off. You thought, I thought, I thought to myself. So that, what's the nicest possible? I can wake up Mr. Hank here. Could us? Because you've definitely stumbled upon the not one of the nicer ways. You're nice to me. I'm nice to you. Yes, it's quid, quid pro quo. What does that mean? Never mind. Husband, you never gave given me an orgasm. Never? Never. Does he, you know, go downtown to, to all the south land? Never. Go into the hood? Well, it's not true. Yes, he has. But he may take a shower first. He take a shower first. Then he spent 45 minutes trying to get, find my clit. How did he do? I'm sure, he, pretty sure he thinks it's the bottom. The other vaginas, that's weird. I'll take, I'm going to take a hint. I can take a hint. I just happen to have my GPS with me. I'll store it up. I can store it up my arse, yes. Hell, hello, yours is up your bottom. I think I found something. What the fuck is that? It wouldn't be my, hu- it would be my husband, okay. Maybe you should hide you under your clit. You never find me, they, they, me there. Heather, those piece of shit is that? I think I should go. All I need to do is find my pants. No pants anywhere. What the fuck? Is that not, is, it's not what you think. Whose pants are these? Those are yours. Who's he, motherfucker? Yeah, you, you're gonna be kidding me. What are you, like six years or something, bro? Yeah, fuck the little man in boat. He's up here. Let's see where he is. Right here. Let, just let me go. Are you kidding me? You guys work at it. You're dead, motherfucker. Kind of an occasion. Ladies and daddies. Trying them out a new look. What do you mean, dad? Yes. Are you mentally insane? Yes, I'm extremely highly functioning. Much like a social needs person that works at McDonald's, exactly. I'm late, I'm sorry. I'm not wearing my pants, but... I'd like to invite you to my late two ladies to join me. Take your pants off and come with me to my pants off the restaurant. So I'm tempting, but I've got, a, got plans, okay? It might must be a date. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mum. Peanut. I don't, I cannot, but, you know, enjoy your daddy time. Where is my kiss? You're really a classy guy, Hank. There's something funny coming from all, all, you all. So, who run that round? It's not whether you win. Or you lose. It's how you play the game. Looks like a fun game. You think I made a laugh? Sure. I did all the inside. You know, shimmering pirates. Again, Johnny Depp is hot. I can tell you wouldn't. You would rather expand your semiotic horizons and pick a film that's based on a piece of literature. Another theme park wise? Pirates it is. Why do you try in my room? Depp, I don't think. I have sushi takeout. I got the house of chow. Well, that, well, she's Chinese, that was for her daughter. Can I ask you something? Yeah, yeah anything, my love. Is there, why is there a naked lady in your bedroom? You wait, hair, okay. There's not her hair and her vagina. Do you think she's okay? I'll check. What are you doing? I thought you, uh, I was surprised you. You surprised my daughter. I'm not so sorry, I mean, really. I should have called, but I am sighed. You know what? I'm sorry, really. You know what? Yes. Maybe we should have to think about calling things off a little bit. Excuse me? Or not? Either way, I'm easy. Good. You're amazing, Hank. I mean, mean you spent all this time talking to me 
of sight into sight, and he's acted your revenge. You don't mean he's right as revenge. What are you talking about, revenge? Please do not make this like it. It wasn't at least as satisfying to fuck the mind of a man turned your precious little book to your shitty, big, shitty, big, shitty movie. Would you, would you put it that way? Where are you there to put it, Hank? Now you put it that way. There is no other way to put it. I think that's very... Shut up. God, you shut up. What? And you know what? By the way, the truth is the movie. It might be better than the book. Okay, you're not only are you a con- cantankerous lay, but you also shitty taste in movies. Hi, thank you. Cheers. So this is your new girlfriend. I wish you could take him with us. Why doesn't you, you get... Why doesn't you get get your stuff together, honey, today? Okay? Don't yell at him. I'm not going to yell at him much. What? I know what that look. That look that shivers my testes. Twelve years old. By his naked slut in boy's bedroom. Dead bedroom. Oh, are you, are you still feeling cute? Did you mention that, huh? Uh, huh? Yes, you mentioned that. So, what are you jealous? What? You're so like lucky you didn't get, take away your little curiosity. You have to, you, you, you do have. Do try to convince me. You've got a legal advice from your boyfriend, Bill Neal. No, sweetheart. Wait, don't start, okay? You started when you cheated on me. Shut up. I did not cheat on you. In that universe is fucking someone, you're married to someone else. Not cheating. The one in which you were not, uh, never really married. That's bullshit, technically. You never asked. You didn't want to be that guy. You didn't want to join the herd. That's why I dug, that's what I dug about you. Imagine my fucking disappointment. It turned out to be the biggest cliche of all. Sitting there, googling yourself, I saw you. I googled myself, but I never cheated on you. Never. Cheating isn't just about fucking someone, Frank. I wrote literally, and all these, what we differ from you. Bill and I don't touch each other till we were dead and buried. Are you trying to make it, me throw up now? You're out there sticking your dick in anything that moves, trying to get back at me, which is fine. Do you know what the worst thing is? You're not writing. You have this gift. You have this incredible talent. You're just flushing it down the toilet. Maybe you're right. Or no, maybe you're right. I fucked up right now. I need help. I do. I need you, baby. No, no, Hank, Hank, Hank. I'm getting married. What? You asked. And I said, yes. What the fuck? Would you do something like that? Because I love him. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I do. You don't. You do not. Yes, I do. You don't. How do you know? Because he's fucking tired, I don't. He's everything you said you never wanted. I'm sure he means well. I think I may be fucked up right now. But I can see he's not the guy for you. I can see that. How do you know that? Because I know you. I don't get, I don't get to say that in this. Are you sure? Because it seems like it, I should, maybe. I guess it's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, okay. Best in luck in your four of those future endeavours. Thank you. Good night, honey. Please don't use that word vagina around me again. Please forget, don't forget to let me know when you're registered. That's so sweet. Don't let the door hit you on your soon-to-be hose arse on the way out. Talk to me, baby. What's up? No, I'm at the movies. Hey, come on, buddy. Give me a break. Swear. Go to the house. I talked to your mother. No, she said, what the fuck, man? What's up, baby girl? No, you are, so you're calling. He's going to have to work. call you back. Yes, sweetheart. Sometimes you have the movie. All right. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. You know what? Don't touch the phone. Okay, stupid guy. Don't do it. Baby, I'm sorry about some stupid guy. He takes the phone from me. He freaks out like... He's Mel Goopson or something. Forget that, baby. Forget, because I know, you know who I am. I don't care if I'm at the theatre. The what well, the fuck, man? Now take it. Come on, take it. Next time, put it in the vi- on the vibrate, honey. Fucking turn it off. God forbid you for, you pass it up. A fucking call, dick. What for dick, fuck? Piece of shit. What are you doing? What do you mean? What? you you like calling me over? No, it's totally irreverent. Listen, you better get up because my boyfriend will be back any second. You really chick, am I? I'm also you just kidding. Have a seat, please. 
What if I don't want to now? Fine, you lost. Lose, I mean, why wouldn't I want to get to know a guy who's in love with himself, hangs out in a bookstore, reading his own work? If you're under the impression I'm in love with myself, it's possible you are higher than me right now. I'm batting some so low, low, low esteem. Your idea, poor baby. Hank, my name is Hank. I know, Maya. Nice to meet you, Maya. All right, wise. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Did you see that movie? And what did you think? Honestly? Yes, brutal truth. It really sucked. A director ruined it. He should never, he should be shot. I took care of him already. So you like this famous writer, huh? Hardly like, 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 more like a one hit wonder. Well, now I'm definitely short for sure. Absolutely not going to sleep with you. Are you going to come? Didn't see what, don't, don't, don't see why not. I'm happy you report that Rebecca is a delightful student. Smart, criticism, full of life. You have a sense of big hairy fuck lurking around the corner. This is my life. Can you take those off? It's okay, he's right. But the slightly he's worried by his um, emerging sexuality. Oh my, thank God he's a lesbian. Thank God, what are you talking about? I think we all agree by the laws that men are assholes. I, I am for one, I'm happy that she prefers a various sex. It looks like we're proud parents of a lesbian daughter. Up here... Let's celebrate. Come on, don't leave me hanging. What? You ashamed of my uh, gay daughter? What happened to your eye? Okay, hold me on a second. Hold on a second for you, folks. Becca's not a lesbian. She's not? No. Based on what I can see, no. Then why are we stuck in sexuality? Because it seems she's very recently discovered tension of boys. Well, she's beautiful. She takes off to her mother. And that woman make up the slutty clothes. I caught her making out with a, this boy last week. And he was what? Filling up. She was 12 years old. Well, there's nothing to feel, you know. I don't see why we should put uh, such a negative spin on this. It means she's growing up. It's only natural to we'll talk to her. No. No, I'll talk to her. No, because you're just going to lose your shit. And we're going to make your talk to her. You'll end up pregnant. And my everything will be fine and fucking dandy. Oh, my God. You're such a funny arsehole. Folks, I need bring it up. Because when I told her it's inappropriate behaviour, she said... How else do you get boys to like you? So I have to offer you. If, do I have to offer you? Have an offer for you. Forgive me. Well, I haven't heard that, in that one in a while. Don't get so excited. Wish you hadn't said that before the blood started rushing my cock. Lovely. Thank you for that image. Well, well, hello. Are you familiar with Hella magazine? Hell no. Well, would you like to? Would you like to blog for them? Fuck me. Must be a trick ear, but I thought you said blog. The good people of Hella. Are interested in your thoughts on the battle between sexes and adopted city of yours? Do you have a gun, you know? Did I have a, hot, a very hot dream about a nun the other night? I gave it me a blowjob. Isn't it? There you are, a nun, a blowjob. It's excellent, it's excellent, you think? Because take the feud to figure out. Oh, well, Hank, well, you established that you were certainly a certain regulation for the company of unavailable women. We haven't been, we haven't established that, it's established it. it. Would be an ultimate manifestation, such a fetish. Perhaps getting a job job from a woman who's essentially married to God can most be like, can be just that naughty. What the fuck is going on with you, man? How are you? I'm fine. I disgusted my life and myself by an unhappy, but not happy without that. How are you? Okay, as a friend and agent, I've simply said she might try to so looking for a nice girl. A nice girl? I uh, wouldn't know what to say to a nice girl. Such as you are te- you're ten, away from sitting at a dinner with one. You better figure something out. You're not cool, a naughty tooth, motherfucker. Hello, wife, hello, smiles. So, Hank Meredith, your writer. Once upon a time, I was, yeah, a little place, a cool New Mexico city. Hold it, I'm still a writer. A great writer. No, you see, that's where you're wrong. The writer's right. That's what they do. Not that so much, nothing. Good idea. Well, have you written something you think I might have read? Well, it depends on whether you do or not you read, Murder and Diff. I read, Hank. Excellent. Very, most excellently. He said, you gave man birth to a weighty tone called God Hates Us All. So it's a catchy title. No. It's subsequently turned in a movie called A Crazy Little Thing Called Love. A man and a woman with Kate, Tom and Kate. I love that. Swell. Such a great, sweet movie. You liked it? Well, congratulations, Matt Hanks. You must be really proud, like you wouldn't believe. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? Well, just cliff notes would be fine. 
Well, I don't know, Hank. You seem to have me all figured out. Why don't you give it a try? Well, why don't you give we order a little something? Some wine, maybe? Hey, trust me. Getting your ass old bleach would be much more fun. Yeah. If it is a waiter, perhaps waiter grow out on? I don't think you want to hear that. Sure I do. Tell me a little more about myself. I mean, what do writers do, right? They do stuff. I, they make up stuff. Come on, it'd be fun. I think you're born in the valley. Nice part about the hidden bay hills, coastal bankers, or something like that. Your father was a middle manager, a white collar executive, stay at home mum. Didn't want to stay at home, stay too far to go to college. She went to the USC, UCL. UCLA? No, no, SCSC. A serious boyfriend in college. You both got it right. Are you married at the last one? You've got a moral maintenance gig in the human resources industry. You've got a string of bad relationships. You could put you on some weight. You look around and saw all your friends starting to parent and married. So you decided to lose the weight. You die in the gym, addicted. Maybe a little, did a little running. Got addicted, got a little bit of running. Say you want, you got to work, you want to work. Or you start your own party planning business. Fancy yourself a poor girl's mother, Stuart. But what do you really want to do? Sit at home on the couch with some poor sap. Watch your reality TV where he watches you get fat again. Now give me that look right now like a finger banged your cat. What I really think is I've managed to get out of here. The next 15 minutes I can still make it to home. Watch America's Next Top Model. Have I, t- have I t- told, I swear to God, the show is fierce. You real prick, you know that? Guilty, guilty as charged. I thought she liked me. I thought it was going well, sweet. She did ask for it. Yeah, really. So yeah, totally she got it. Go home, honey. Sleep it off. Tonight is another night. Tomorrow's another day. What's wrong? Just thought you were going to hit me. Why? No reason. As you were. Defile me. Him, me. Hello. Yeah, hello. Not the best time, no. Okay, I'm right here, there. Are you kidding me? Consider yourself defiled. You're an arsehole. Where? Somewhere out in the parodies. Where did she go? go with? Bill's daughter. Don't know Bill had a daughter. How old is she? Sixteen. What about Becca? Hang out with... Why? You let Becca hang out with her? Yeah, she's a good kid. She's one that could call me to tell me Becca he was in trouble. What? Well, you smell like a pussy. Smell like a pussy. Thank you. As you were, I hate you. All right, I guess I deserve that. No one deserves that. You're going to come in? What about the Lord and the manor? He's got her out of town. Sure. Wash the pussy off. What happened? Going to happen sooner or later. Do you think I was wrong? No, you did exactly. I did. You did exactly what I wanted you to do, which wasn't. That one doesn't make it right. I just reacted. Just picked her up. Yeah, you've always been a, a walking ID. Short enough is a title. You are my next novel. The next novel? Hey, let's just talk about Becca. Well, it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? You called me. Your daughter's in trouble. I thought you should know. Oh, bullshit! You're alone. You're freaked out. You wanted to make me to handle it. I wanted to do you in all my life. Because you'd still in love with me. I want to live, have like, have like a ten, ten thousand more of my babies. No, because what happens to Becca? It's our responsibility. Like it or not, we tie to each other for life. Yes. Minus the obvious sexual benefits. You mean have that pretty well covered right now? She would have that pretty well covered right now. Don't sell yourself short. As I recall, your problems did not stay into the bedroom. Please stop. God, we've got to kind of suck. Anything else? We're, going to, we're all great once you know it. Hank, what are you doing? Don't marry me. What? Don't marry me. I marry Hank. Don't fuck with me. I'm not going to fuck with you. I won't. Don't work with it. I can't. Don't work without you. I'll get it. You want your moves back. You save me. I'll save you. I fucked up. I think I fucked up and it matters big and small. I never asked you. I'm going to ask you again now. Marry me. Do you want to get... With me right now? Oh, I'm so sorry. You're okay? Yeah. This is Maya. Bill's daughter. This is Hank. You two know each other, whatever. Well, I do recognise you. Sure. I do from your book. Your picture's on the back, right? How is she? She, well, she hates us. You know, she's fine. It's very cool what you did, did you, you did tonight. It's nice to see an old-fashioned family based in this moral, bankrupt city of ours. As me, I tell you about all the family values. 
Open your eye. Yeah, what did happen to your eye, Hank? Well, you should see the other guy. I hope she d- d- does press charges. Not she, it's a he, the other guy. Right. Well, anyway, whatever. I'm off to bed. Good night. It's nice to meet you, Hank. Nice to meet you, too. She seems nice. She is. She's great. She's a good kid. How old might she be? She's 16. 16? Well, 16. I know what you're thinking. No, I don't think you do. Give him a break. Your jaw is practically, practically on the fucking floor, Hank. You're such a dirty old man.